one of Tite's cornerstones during the road to Russia, Renato Augusto now faces a tough challenge to push himself into World Cup contention. The hard-working midfielder will need to prove to his coach that he is still an essential cog in Brazil's machine. Reynado is the only player in the Celica that plays in China's Super League, and has seen his stock rise immeasurably since he starred in the arduous South American qualifying campaign. His biggest rival for a starting spot, however, is Fernandino, who also left a brilliant impression during Manchester City's all-conquering Premier League season, the vagaries of the Chinese season, moreover, means that Renato goes to Russia with less playing time than his teammates. He has racked up just 1,800 minutes since August, compared to Allison's 4,400 in the Roma goal, and he is still way behind even Pedro Jaramel, who with 3,172 minutes is the player. Directly above him in that ranking, photo, CBF, Bivoljikau, in the most recent Brazil Global Tour friendlies held in March, Tide decided to try out a team without Renato Augusto. Against Russia, William was given the chance to roam in midfield, with Philippe Coutinho pulling inside to support the Chelsea star and Douglas Costa, who deputized for the injured Neymar, for the clash with Germany. Meanwhile, the coach opted to start Fernandino for added bite in the engine room. The Selecao won both their games but looked more impressive against Germany, even taking into account the stiff challenge posed by the reigning World Cup holders, but Renato has one card up his sleeve. He knows tight well, having starred under the coach at Corinthians as the Brazilian Giants romped to Serie A glory in 2015. Photo, Rodrigo Gazanel, Egg. Corinthians, the player is also used to playing under pressure. At just 18 he took on Flamengo's no. 10 shirt in the Copa do Brazil final, against bitter Rio rivals Vasco da Gama and at a time where the club had suffered an acute trophy drought, in front of Opac Maracana, Reynado showed he was different. He did not flinch from the challenge and was one of the stars of the show. Since then technical ability and tactical awareness have been two of his hallmarks. Just two years after that wonderful introduction he had earned a move to Germany, injury, however, interrupted his European adventure and led to a lone move back to Brazil with Corinthians, coincidentally under the same coaching staff now in charge of the national team. Renato's Brazil career could have started even earlier if it were not for those physical problems. He was called up by Mano Menezes in 2011 at the start of a new World Cup cycle but failed to carve out a regular place. Tite is yet to hint at his starting lineup for Sunday's Brazil Global Tour friendly against Croatia. But the coach is keen to pick a side that can carry Brazil into the World Cup and enter the finals in Russia in the best shape possible.